right, in this video, this is T's Math Tips video number 19, and we're going to be converting some Roman numerals to Arabic numerals. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, my wife's son and I just got a puppy, so we have a new member of the family, and um, he's pretty much at my hip all the time. But hopefully that will not be too distracting. So in these two columns here, we have the Arabic numerals, and Arabic numerals are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, numbers we use all the time. And then we have the Roman numeral for these Arabic numerals. So think of a one, uh, the Roman numeral is a single tally mark, a five, I'll call it a V, 10, I'm gonna call it a X, 50 is a L, 100 is a C, 500 is a D, and 1000 is a M. Now I've created this little Excel file with Arabic numerals and we can type in an Arabic numeral such as one and notice we have a tally mark down here for this Roman conversion. If I do a two, we have two tally marks. If I do a three, we have three tally marks. But be careful with four. Four is not going to be four tally marks. We actually have a tally mark with a V. This represents one, this represents five. We have a smaller number in front of a bigger number, so we're gonna take five minus one. That's how that four gets there. And I'm going to dive into this more with you right here in a moment when we take a Roman numeral and convert it. But let's go ahead and go through some more. We got five, there's our V. If we do six, we're gonna have a V with a one or a tally on the right hand side. So this is five plus one, that gives us six. So let's go ahead and look at seven. We have a V with a tally and another tally. So five, six, seven, let's look at eight. We're gonna see a V with three tallies. And now be careful with nine. We're not gonna see four tallies. What we see is a tally with a X. The X represents 10, so we're taking 10 minus one, that gives us nine. And then if we look at 11, we're gonna see the tally mark on the right-hand side, so this is 10 plus one, that gives us 11 right there. Now let's do a crazy number. Let's do 964. And look at this number right here. This is the one that I wanna show you how to convert. So here's what I do when I have a Roman numeral and I need to convert it to an Arabic numeral. So I go ahead and take all of my letters and I write down what number they represent. So let's start with the C. So the C is gonna be 100. Let's go on to the M, that's gonna be 1000. Let's go on to the L, that's 50. X is 10. The tally is one and the V is five. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Whenever you have a smaller number in front of a bigger number, you want to subtract them. For example, right here. Notice we have a smaller number in front of a bigger number. So let's subtract them. Let's take 1,000 minus 100, we get 900. So we're done with this, the 100 and 1,000. Now let's look and see anywhere else where we have a smaller in front of a bigger, and we have that right here. We have a one in front of a five. Let's go ahead and subtract those, we get four and we don't have a smaller in front of a bigger here, so we want to add these. So we have 50 plus 10 is 60, and now if we add these numbers up, notice we get 964. That matches that right there perfectly. So now let's look at 438. This looks crazy, right? So let's copy this on over and let's see how to convert this. So again, let's write down what each letter represents. The C, we said that was 100. The D is gonna be a 500 now. We got XXX, so that's gonna be uh, three tens. So 10, 10, 10. Then we have a V, which is a five. And then we have uh, three tallies, so we have one, one, one. Now, let's go through and hunt and find anywhere where we have a smaller in front of a bigger. And I think this is the only one we have right here. We have a smaller in front of a bigger, so let's subtract, we get 400. And now I don't see anywhere else where we have a smaller in front of a bigger. So what we could actually do now is just add up all of this stuff. So we could take 400 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus five plus three. So 400, that's 410, 420, 430, 435, 436, 37, 38. This number is going to be 438. And now let's do one more for safe measure, 1,244. Let's see how we convert this to get 1,244. So I just made a little bit of room here. The M is 1,000. We got two C's, so that's a 100, a 100. X is going to be 10. L is going to be 50. The tally is gonna be a one, and the V is gonna be a five. So let's hunt through this and let's find where we have a smaller in front of a bigger. For example, right there. If we subtract these, we get 40. 
We also have a smaller in front of a bigger right here. So five minus one gives us four. And then we can just take all of these numbers and add them together. Taking a thousand plus 200 here, that's 1,200 plus 40 and then four, that's 1,244. And if I'm not mistaken, that's exactly what we had typed in over in Excel. Yes, we did. And there you have it, three examples of converting a Roman numeral to an Arabic numeral. Probably in the next video of T's Math Tips, we'll go the other way. We will take a Arabic numeral and we'll convert it to a Roman numeral. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.